it all started with a simple idea what is stereotomy in architecture the art of cutting three dimensional solids into particular shapes the science of cutting solids but when you apply this to architecture it doesn't just shape structures it unlocks a whole new realm of creativity stay tuned to see how this ancient art is shaping the modern architecture what is stereotomy in architecture stereotomy in architecture is a technique that involves creating spaces and forms by cutting into and hollowing out a solid materials like stone or concrete unlike traditional construction methods that rely on assembling separate pieces stereotomy focuses on directly shaping and manipulating the solid mass itself to achieve architecture elements this approach to architecture is methodical and artistic utilizing the inherent properties of solid materials to form architecture spaces and shapes stereotomy emphasizes the precise cutting and carving of material to create integrated forms and structural components highlighting the craftsmanship and skills involved in sculpting the architecture element from solid masses when it comes to learning the concept of stereotomy there is a great master none other than arias mathios known for projects that focuses on hollowing clearing and excavating solids a technique often referred to as a design by eraser however stereotomy isn't only about removal it also involves its opposite heaping stacking and piling for example what is dug out from one place can be used to create a mound elsewhere eres matheos is a renowned for creating what is known as the emptiness in architecture his work often plays with the contrast between mass and space fullness and emptiness presence and absence what exists and what does not now the question is how to make the void visible and how to voice the void the challenge in stereotomy especially in the work of arias mathios is to make the void visible and give voice to emptiness this involves highlighting the space created by removal and using them to define and enhance the overall structure and design by carefully considering how these voids interact with the surrounding material and space architects can create powerful visuals and spatial experience that emphasizes the importance and presence of what is not there just as much as what is this video dwells into the architecture of arias mathios and the concept of stereotomy by exploring their unique approach to design you will gain a deeper understanding of the role of voids in architecture let's watch the video till the end to fully appreciate how they use the interplay of space mass and emptiness to create impactful architecture experience let's begin Eres Matheus is an architect from Portugal who along with his brother Francisco Eres Matheus started their studio in 1988 they have completed several notable projects including the architecture faculty in Belgium the house in Leiria house for elderly people in Portugal the meeting center in Grandola A common theme in their architecture is the concept of void, the combination of void and air, which can often seem indistinguishable in this central to their design philosophy. These are elements that hands cannot physically grasp, akin to invisible objects. Imagining hands holding voids gives a sense of what it might be like to hold air. Arias Mathios encapsulates this idea by saying, "The space is a void." a fist full of air shaped by matter that defines the limit their approach to architecture involves creating spaces through hollowing out solids clearing and excavation essentially designing by eraser in their projects voids represents a call to emptiness establishing a continuous and intriguing interplay between mass and space fullness and emptiness presence and absence the key question they explore is how can we make a void visible Let's dive deeper into their work to understand this fascinating concept. Swiss architect Peter Junter wrote, "In architecture there are two basic possibilities of spatial composition: the closed architecture body which isolates space within itself and the open body which embraces an area of space that is connected with the endless continuum." Stereotomy in architecture generally refers to the technique of cutting solids, usually stone. In this process a continuous homogeneous or monolithic mass when cut or subtracted creates voids that are seen as a positive configuration this means that a space is formed by freeing stripping removing and clearing part of the mass 
the interplay between solid and voids allow architects to shape the materials into any desired form by removing part of it this technique is essential in creating spaces through subtraction emphasizing the importance of voids as an integral element of design by carefully removing part of the solid mass architects can reveal the hidden potential of the void making it a central feature to the architecture composition in sculptures there are two main ways to create shapes first the adding material which is known as the molding or the modeling this method involves adding material to build up the shape it is more flexible because you can easily add or change the material until the desired form is achieved the second method is removing material which is known as the cutting or carving this method involves subtracting materials from the solid blocks to reveal the shape it requires careful planning and decisiveness because once material is removed it can't be easily replaced stereotomy involves more than just cutting and removing material it also includes actions like heaping stacking piling loading and raising these additional actions allow for the creation of complex forms and structure by manipulating both the solid material and the space within it stereotomy thus encompasses both the removal of material to create voids and the arrangement of materials to shape spaces this interplay between subtraction and additions make it versatile and dynamic approach in architecture since creating a mound and digging a pit are closely related what you dig out from the ground can be used to make a mound john antonio described the work of the architect arius matthios as building the mold of space molding involves shaping something by pressing one material onto other to leave an imprint however even though we can shape the air and space to some extent they can't be imprinted in the same way solid materials can the first step in working with stone is excavation which includes not only digging it out of the ground but also shaping it by carving scraping and polishing to achieve the desired form and the smoothness in egyptian architecture the technique of layering and excavation become fundamental to the concept of building itself especially seen in the hypogeum which is the ultimate form of excavation structures like the pyramid showcase this idea these massive structures have passages galleries shafts and burial chamber that are not added separately but are left as empty spaces within the solid mass in the work of arius matthios the empty spaces are not just empty voids this suggests something deeper like a sense of loss their design challenges the idea of continuous space that is central to the classic modern architecture instead of embracing the construction techniques of modernity they explore a different approach they focus on creating a new distinct form of modern architecture that moves away from the conventional method and ideas in summary the arius matthios brothers architecture embodies a playful and rhythmic exploration of presence and absence emergence and burial creating space that breathe and resonate with the historical echoes while embracing contemporary formal production Hello everyone just before clicking off this video i would like to say thank you for watching this video till the end this is a two part video series in the second part of the video we will discuss the idea of minimalism and also we will discuss one of the project of arius matthios to understand his architecture philosophy i hope you enjoy this video please hit the subscribe button to get the notification of the second part of the video and if you enjoyed the first part of the video please hit the like button i know these are very small things but this will inspire us to create more such videos see you in the next video Till then keep learning keep hustling keep smiling salute